Almost exactly 40 years ago, a Wheaton College student was found murdered in a Colorado field. Helene Prasinski was 21 years old and had moved to Colorado for an internship just weeks before her death. Now police say they finally found her killer. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now from the newsroom with a break in this decades-old case and reaction from the victim's family. Kim? 62-year-old James Curtis Clanton now faces charges of murder and kidnapping. Reports out of Denver say investigators used DNA evidence collected from a beer mug to link him to this previously unsolved crime. It devastated our whole family. It, it just crushed our world. Helene Prasinski's sister, Janet Prasinski Johnson, has been grappling with the grief of her younger sister's death for nearly 40 years. Now, news of an arrest. The emotions are as raw in some ways as they were 40 years ago. Officials in Douglas County, Colorado, announcing the arrest of this man, 62-year-old James Curtis Clanton. District Attorney George Brockler called Helene's sister Janet with the news. I think this is the kind of phone call that at some point you don't expect to get. I felt relief, um, anger, uh, joy. At the time of her murder, Helene was a 21-year-old senior at Wheaton College in Massachusetts. She had just begun an internship at a Colorado radio station. This is a young girl who was just starting her life, came to Colorado to have an opportunity to make a difference. Helene's body was found in a field in January 1980. The case went cold until DNA evidence, new technology, and old-fashioned detective work led investigators to Clanton. My sister was my best friend. She was a loving daughter, sister, aunt, and friend. Helene was on track to do great things. She had a bright future ahead of her. There has not been a day that goes by that we haven't missed her. And I did reach out to Wheaton College today. A spokesperson there telling us Helene's untimely death was tragic at the time and remains so 40 years later. The thoughts of the entire Wheaton community are with her family, friends, and classmates as they continue to grieve Helene's loss and manage the emotions of this new information. Helene's sister tells me the people who worked on this case are her heroes, and she looks forward to justice being served. In the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.